testing. <clears throat> okay, uh, this was unplanned and I didn't know. Shout out to JP. What is the chance that we both like take the piece out of our comfort zones? Oh. And uh, disclaimer: this piece of written creative art does not reflect my political views, and I do not endorse specific policies. <laughs> Make yourself great again. <laughs> I notice this a lot when someone asks someone else, Hey, how are you? I'm good. That's it. Two syllables and it's finished. Again, we don't want to waste, uh, waste our precious minutes, so, you know, we don't take the road that's traveled, we take the one that's the quickest. No. Every time I ask someone how they are, they tell me they're good. I always think to myself, lies. <laughs> you're not good, you're great. Because <laughs> I, I, I say I'm great. <clears throat> I mean, it's Monday, I lost my wallet, I ran a slow race, I can't get a date, and I didn't turn in my assignment for a class, I'll probably fail. But yeah, I'm feeling great. <laughs> but you're thinking, wait, none of, none of those things are things to feel great about. I mean, history recognizes great as conquerors with large forces. Here's some leaders you don't want to cross course with, influential figures who fought and inspired movements. Being great means you're a self-actualized human. But why define great with ordinary feats? I say it's a mental state we all should seek. I mean, Monday means it's a new week and the possibilities are open. I lost a few bucks from my wallet, but my bank account's not closing. I mean, a slow race just means I need more working. And if I force a relationship, I might get hurt. And that class I fail, it's avail available, available next term. So, I don't want to be a chapter in a... I don't want to be a history book chapter. I'm great because I can focus on what I want to matter. I'm great because when I'm knocked down, I can still admire the silver linings from the clouds. So, why be just good? Good is like, today, I'll be average. Just another moderate, nothing glamorous. Great is more like, Today, I'm gonna build a rocket ship. I'm gonna explore space and shit. Yeah. Feeling good versus feeling great starts with the most important meal of the day. Good is eating morning cereal without a taste. Great is eating a bowl of Kellogg's Frosted Flakes because they're great. Yeah. <laughs> and after you feast, Gather an army and conquer Greece. Take your forces to Egypt and all the way east. I mean, go through Asia and conquer the west too if you wish. At that point, you'll be OP and everyone just quits. <laughs> Obviously, I'm talking about risk. <laughs> then, have a celebration after your conquest. Good, good people I don't know, invite like your friends and the party you host. Great people invite the whole cities to their homes. When everyone is wild and fancy, cause you're Jay Gatsby, the cute, so cue the fireworks and it's logo and you uh, make a toast. And if you don't feel like, you know, eating frosted plates or playing board games or trashing your house every day, the thing is, being great is individual. You could be great by being you and staying original. So, what's stopping you from being great? Is it fear? Are you afraid? Regrets from decisions you've made? Maybe doubts that linger in the corners of your brain. We all have fear that burns and there's the regrets we cling on, that doubt that help the doubt cruise through your thoughts. But the catch is, you could be great if you take the shot. So here, build a wall. Figure it out. Form a united state of mentality. Thoughts like thoughts like thoughts like I can't possibly. That's illegal, so deport them out of your mindset. Thoughts <laughs> <laughs> like, thoughts like, I can't possibly are illegal, so deport them out of your mindset, along with all the foreign aspects. Finally, trump all your insecurities. No. No. Mental no. Let ideas immigrate. Never stop for good. You can be great. <laughs> Sizzler High School, how are you feeling tonight? <laughs>